bands. It's going to play out at the wedding. I'm going to live in my real shoes. Somebody going to accept me for me, maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody might be cool with it. Like, okay, yeah, you a man. You, my sister is getting your feelings over there, and that hurts your heart, and you mad at me or whatever. We ain't going to make it. And that's why I don't want nobody that's sensitive or emotional or in their feelings because you walking on eggshells. I ain't living like that. I'm fucking with somebody who real. And it ain't going to even be about getting married. It's just going to be about living my best life and helping you live yours. And that's what it's about. No traps included. Nobody got to stay here. Ain't no you got to be here because it is. Nah, it's real. It's whatever it is. You know, we here because we want to be here. And that's the only reason why we here. You feel me? You feel me? We going to be here because we want to be here. And that's the only reason. It ain't going to be... Man, I'm stuck here because I did this. I'm stuck here because I did that. I fucked up when I did this. I fucked up when I did that. Now, nah, we here in this short life that people live. We not faking it, man. We not living no fake life. How many niggas get shot on TV? Y'all don't watch World Star enough, man. Niggas is getting smoked every day. Because not... somebody going to always be down with it. You feel me? The wilds grip thugger. <coughs> oh, okay. You still making noise? All right. What the girls that out there who still make noise? Who got a little noise in them? Not if she put that on your live. Huh? <laughs> Not if she put that on right. your live. She ain't got no But guess what, it. man? A lot of y'all do it to yourselves with these toys. Y'all knock the noise out of hey, yourself hey, with hey, these hey, toys. Hey, 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 y'all got these big 18-inch ass toys knocking you out just all day, just bam, bam. Hammering on your shit with them uh, machines all day. Nigga don't even make no noise no more. He just be... These wilds still grip. They don't if you put it on live. I'm good with God. I pray to God. God got me. I'm God's son. Yeah. But even still, understand this, though. It ain't that I'm trying to smash a, a new bitch every single day. That ain't what I'm on. If I fuck with you, we gonna fuck with each other forever. I've been... I didn't, I'm the nigga who been cool with you while you've been through 10 relationships. I'm still cool with you, though. I'm still a nigga who you can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still the dude. Yeah, I'm still the one here. Everybody else left. The ones you thought who had went to school and got the education and was a good dude, and you thought that that was the right one for you to marry. You know, he had all the right uh, chicks in the boxes. When y'all done broke that up and came and left, the real one is still outside. He's still here because he ain't going to never stop being the real one. So he gonna forever be who he is. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. And that's how that go. What if she wanna smash her homies? How will that go? That's that's what she can do. I'm not gonna stop her. I'm not gonna tell her to don't smash the homies. Let her do it if that's all she wants to do. I'm gonna let everybody do whatever they wanna do. And then I'm going to choose whatever I want to do after that. I have to stop you from smashing my heart. Yeah. <laughs> it is a no. You can't. You lose. <laughs> you know where you lose at? You trying to stop somebody. If she brought that up, that's on her mind. That's a fantasy of hers. I'm not going to tell her no. I'm not going to stop her from living her fantasy. She got to live her fantasy. Turn up. Do whatever you want to do, boo. I'm not going to stop you. I got fantasies, too. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. You you know where you're going to feel at? You're going to make her lie to you. That's when the first lie start right there. The first lie start right there when you show uncomfortableness. When you say, hey, what the fuck? You going to let my partners fuck you? You going to let my homeboys run a train on you? you gonna let... Now she know she got to act in front of you. Now she knows she got to pretend to be somebody else. She got to act like she ain't got that fantasy in front of you now. Because you have trained her to know that that's not what to say around him. Does she still want to smash the homies? Yes, yeah, she still want to smash the homies. Because if she didn't, she brought that up. You feel me? You niggas tripping. Y'all tripping by trying to train somebody to stop doing what they really want to do. It's what they really want to do. You got to let people do what they want to do. <laughs> you feel me? You can't stop people from doing what they want to do. Regard, all you're going to do is train them not to do it in front of you. Keep you out of the party. So the homie's going to be smashing behind your back now. And they're going to say, don't tell him because he going to get mad. <laughs> this is what real life is. <laughs> this is what real life is. 
Y'all not ready for real life, but this is thugger news, though. And we talk real life. We don't do the fake shit. You understand me? Do you understand me? Maybe everybody can't get to that level level of understanding, but this is what real life is. <laughs> you got me? Yeah. By you telling somebody, by you telling somebody what you don't like, you telling them what to let you know what they do or don't do. That is what you are doing. You are not stopping them from liking whatever they like before you said, why you do that? That's whole shit. You ran a train, you did this up. You training them to lie to you, fool. The smartest thing to do is be down with whatever they down with. And then they'll stop blocking you out the party. <laughs> they'll stop blocking you out the party. But you shaming a bitch only gonna keep you out of the train, fool ass nigga. You talking down on her. Now she ain't gonna let you get involved when it's time to spend. <laughs> she only gonna do it behind your back. That's what you have to understand. Yeah. I don't have no daughter, so I can talk like this. Yeah. You feel me? Hey, I'm a, hey, if you don't want to hear the truth, you know what I'm saying? Then you can't come on here. You can't come on here. You can't come on here. That's why you're supposed to start friends first. Get to know a person. Let, don't stop people. Stop stopping people. Stop telling people what you like or don't like. Stop telling people what you like or don't like. That's the way you fuck up in the beginning when y'all start meeting. When you meet a motherfucker and let her know or let him know what you like or don't like, they ain't gonna show you what they what you tell them you don't like. It's honeymoon stage. They gonna say, oh, they don't like this? Let me not do this. So when are you really gonna meet this real person? When you gonna really know who they really is? You're not. You gonna meet the... The, the person who adjusted to what you like or don't like. You feel me? I don't knock nobody for doing nothing. I let people be whoever they are. And then I decide if I want to deal with them or not after that, after they show who they truly are. You feel me? I'm not trying to train people to be who I like. I just want to see who you really are. And then I judge off of that. You feel me? Yeah, that's how that go. But y'all don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand that. You got to learn to live in real life, man. When you learn to live in real life, you become a king of your world, man. You become a king of your world, man. I had a conversation with my partner before. So we was talking about uh, cheating. Like, you know, some people uh, indulge in that. Like, like a, some dudes be like, uh, you better not be talking to that dude. You better not be doing this. You better not do that or whatever. Like, you know, some part, it'll bother them. You know, they'll think about, it. man, I wonder if she fuck with somebody. You know, they'll try to control that shit. I, it may be toxic, right? This may be toxic, what I'm telling you. And everything I'm saying might be toxic because I come from a toxic place. No, I, I've come from the hood. I had to basically, my mama uh, blessed me with the food and all that. Like that. We was in the hood, though, youngest of seven. She worked 12 to 12. I kind of did what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of did everything I wanted to do. So I built this world in my head out for me just living life and life experiences. My conversation is all based off of life, life, and life experiences. Not what was tradition. Not I tried tradition. I tried to do the boyfriend, girlfriend thing. I tried to do a lot of the traditional shit. But it led me to just moving with my common sense first instead of, you know, trying to follow uh, traditions that, that are really just outdated in a lot of ways. On the cool, it's really outdated. It's too much access to everybody now. Marriage ain't really like, it's too much access, you know, to be, you know, marriage is kind of, I don't know. I mean, like I say, it's, it's kind of what you do when you're trying to build something from nothing. Y'all ain't. You know, when you can't afford to, you know, have your have it your way or whatever I would say. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I live in truth, man. Every single day. I don't I don't live in what was taught, what was the people used to do. I move out common sense. What makes sense? What is really real, Slim? What is the truth? That talking stage is a honeymoon stage where they lie and, they, and both of y'all pretending. Keep it real. Both of y'all not doing whatever you heard the other motherfuckers say they don't like when people do. 
You know what I'm saying? Tell that shit wear off. You don't give a fuck no more. You know what I'm saying? That's how that shit go. Straight like that. Man, like I say, this shit is toxic, but I move off common sense, man. Nothing else. I used to be married. That's how I know Big Slim right. Facts. You feel me? Yeah, man. I ain't fuck with no running today. My boy whooped my ass Monday. I'm going to take a day off. I'm going to go get my cortisone shot. And I'm going to call it a day. Who that? Okay. I ain't going to put this gal on there like that. That's a little wild. Yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to ruin the past. Uh, super sense. There we go, Robert. Wake him up, man. That's what this is called. Being in touch with your real sense. Like, this ain't common sense. This is super sense. This is super sense, man. This is super sense, man. And I'm going to tell y'all something else, right? I'm going to tell y'all something else. And a lot of y'all ain't going to agree with me on this, right? Job Morant. I'm still riding for Job Morant. I'm still riding for Job Morant. I know a lot of y'all not going to agree with me on this. And I'm going to tell y'all why. I, 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 I'm not saying I, I want him to do this. But I'm just saying that uh, y'all are going crazy, man. To me, I'm going to tell y'all personally, as a black man, looking at a lot of black people, lash out on this dude, it sounds like y'all talking like some house niggas. Like, y'all sound like some, y'all just got the white man nuts in y'all mouth, for real. Like, that's how I feel to me, watching my own people go bad on one of their own people because of he broke a rule of the NBA. Not broke the law, but broke a rule of the NBA. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what y'all have to wake up and realize, man. He did not break the law. Plenty white people got guns. Plenty everybody got guns. So he did not break the law. Your opinion is he shouldn't be doing that. He got to be a role model for the kids. That's your opinion. That's not him breaking the law, though, still. That's just your opinion. Ja Morant if you look in the mirror, has done way more than me as a rapper who's been 20 years. He has reached a whole nother level of success. Look in your mirror. Has he done more than you? He done way more than you. So you can't never look down at him. You ain't 200 million strong. So with that on your mind, shut up. First, like hold your opinion back on how you talking about this black man. Like calm the fuck down. And say, man, you know what? I ain't did shit. I got five baby daddies. I ain't, this ain't work out for me. How I'm up here being God talking down on this man who made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? A 23-year-old young man who made a mistake. Stop, stop looking in the mirror. So I don't even, look at yourself for a minute and check yourself and on all the fucked up shit you on and the dumb shit you did before you feel like you Jesus Christ and can stand up and talk down on a nigga who I already worked $200 million. Stop right there. Take your video down, Playboy. You ain't never did shit that amazing where you can talk down on somebody who worked $200 million. I don't give a damn about your opinion. That's your opinion. That's your person. I can have... Now, imagine I set you up on a motherfucking pedestal and I just talk about all the dumb shit you did in your life. Man, this dumb motherfucker got pregnant at this. This stupid motherfucker caught a case doing this. This dumb motherfucker had a baby with this tramp... Man, imagine if we set you on a motherfucking pedestal and talked about all the dumb shit you did in your life. Take that shit down because you ain't did enough shit in your life to talk down on no $200 million nigga. First of all, first of all, that's what y'all need to wake up and understand before you come on here and, and especially other races. That Aiden nigga, shut the fuck up talking about a black man, punk ass boy. Like, we don't give a fuck if you got money. You need to calm the fuck down how you talking about this black man who made a mistake as a 23-year-old and broke a rule, not the law, once again. Huh? Broke a rule, not the law, once again. That was an NBA rule. All right, let's talk about rules. Just a few years ago, the rule was you couldn't get no money from nobody in college. You can't get no money from nobody in college or you're going to get kicked out the league. All this shit here gonna happen. That rule has changed, right? We been knew that rule was dumb than a motherfucker. We been said how the fuck college is making billions of dollars out of people 
and um not giving a uh and the kids can't get a dollar. We been knew that rule was dumb. It took time to push forward and change that rule. For you to tell a two hundred million dollar nigga he can't have a gun is a dumbass rule. I don't give a fuck what he what contract he signed. It's a dumbass rule. So fuck the rule of a motherfucker in the NBA telling a nigga who worth two hundred million dollars when Slim Thug ain't worth two hundred million dollars and I got twenty guns. You know, so you can't tell no nigga. I don't give a fuck what contract he signed. A grown man should be able to have a gun. If your broke ass can have a gun, he should be able to have a gun. Your opinion is he shouldn't be showing up this and doing jive fuck up a bag. Fuck the, uh, you, you ain't taking it further to understand that that's a dumbass rule. And it's only your opinion that him showing his gun on live is wrong. Because white people show their guns on live all the time. I show my gun on live. I show my gun on Instagram. You feel me? So understand that if I can do it, how I'm gonna tell a nigga? I show my gun. I show my gun on live yeah. the other day. As soon as he he caught the case, I showed. You showed your gun on live. I showed a you Uzi. Never, I showed a Draco. You never did it before. It don't. It's your opinion to say, man, that ain't cool for a young nigga to show his gun on live. First of all, Ja ain't no gangster. Ja, a two hundred million dollar nigga. Him having a gun is different than a broke kid with a mask on in the hood talking about having a gun. So let's talk about that first of all. He ain't no thug. That nigga in the mansion doing showing his gun. So it ain't it ain't for violence. It's to protect him. It's a different state of mind. Secondly, they talking about a twenty three year old nigga. You just showed your gun at twenty three on some dumb shit. Everybody did dumb shit at twenty three. So we talking down on a kid. You know what I'm saying? We talking down on a motherfucking kid, bro. Like at the end of the day. I don't want him to be showing his gun on live, but the rule of the NBA shouldn't be costing this man no 30 million, no 100 million. That's a bullshit rule to me. And that's what that is. I like I say, I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna agree with me, but y'all don't think like a boss. I never worked for nobody, so I never had to follow the rules of nobody. I just had to follow the law. So I could never understand how working after you off work, off season, you can get fined a hundred or whatever the fuck they finna try to do to him while you out on, on summer vacation. It'll never make sense to a boss. That's what you have to understand. It sounds like some scam shit. It sounds like, man, let's get some money back from this nigga shit from a boss when you look at it like that. So that's all it is. You can think how you think. I'm not mad at you if you you like jive dumbass for holding the gun to his shit. He shouldn't have did that. He was no, he signed his contract. That's cool. I'm not. I wanted to say my point on that. It's okay for you to have your whole point on, on however you feel. We can shake hands and still have a great day. We don't have to think alike. You know what I'm saying? I just I just broke down to you how um how it made sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And I hear y'all. Oh, that's his job. That's how he get paid. But at, you talking to somebody who don't even agree with uh, the NBA in a whole. Having white owners tell nothing but a bunch of black players what to do who millionaires, that don't sit right with me. That don't sit right with me. Okay? So I don't even like the NBA as a whole. This is the guy who said Jordan need to start Jordan League. And we need to redo all the rules. And when a nigga get out of work, nigga can do whatever he want to do. Like everybody else in America. After you do your nine to five, nigga, you can do whatever you want to do as a, as a law abiding citizen is what type of rules I will have in my workplace. You know what I'm saying? But to be a millionaire and can't do what you want to do, it gives rich slave to me. You know, and a broke motherfucker think that a, 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 some money is the most freedom you can ever have, and it really ain't. Because if you can't even smoke weed, and, and you a, a $200 million nigga, then shit, you ain't really free. You know what I'm saying? I can. I can fire this bitch right back up right now. You know what I'm saying? And after you done bought all the Rolls Royces and gave back and did everything, like it's like, damn, what else? You, money ain't everything no more. Money ain't everything no more. Now you like, what else? Like, damn, now you want your freedom. Kyrie, man, I don't want to take that shot. Nigga, you in the end, you take the shot. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what you think.
take this shot. Why y'all was, yeah, what about that? How y'all feel about Kyrie? Y'all was on Kyrie saying he shouldn't do that. Uh, you know, but that was the rules. That was the rules. Come on, guys. Let's let's talk about it. With Kyrie, what y'all was saying? Oh, he don't have to take that. That's wrong. Y'all don't want to take the needle. But it's, the, it's his job. It's what the rules say. Stop being bitch-ass people and just following everybody's rules. Stop being bitch-ass people and following everybody's rules, especially if you black and your owner is white. That don't sound right in 2023 after slavery. Like, I don't like that. It don't sit right in Big Slim here. You know what I'm saying? That don't uh, White people making rules for black people, it don't sit right. As a grown man after 18, after I done left mama house and did all that school shit, nah, it don't sit right with me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fuck rules. Push them rules out the way. Grown men do what the fuck they want to do as long as they don't break the law after they get out of work. As long as you don't bring the gun to, to the motherfucking NBA and weigh the hell on the floor or motherfucking uh, bring that bitch to the locker room on the plane or put nobody, the fans in danger, then you can do what the fuck you want to do after you out work, nigga. That's how it should be. All across the board, nigga. Straight like that, man. All across the board. Kill your masters. <laughs> Kill your masters, black people. Kill your masters. Get rid of your masters, of black people. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, that's the true success. You ain't rich until you ain't got to follow nobody rules. How about that? You ain't rich until you can walk around this bitch and do what you want to do. If you can't fire blunt up on this motherfucker like I do every day, then you ain't really rich. You work for people and you got owners and you still got to step. Let's say that you got a sugar daddy. If, if you can't do what you want to do every day, you got a sugar daddy. I'm the sugar daddy. All right. I'm the sugar daddy. I ain't talking about literally kill your masters. I'm saying get rid of them. Boss up. You be the boss. That's what I'm saying. Not literally shoot them or no dumb ass shit like that for the slow people. I'm saying boss up. Take uh, take their position. You be the boss. You make the rules. Like me. You make the rules. You feel me? Yeah. And then you really a boss. Then you really a king. Then you really rich. But I tell you, as long as you got rules to follow, man, to me, nah, that ain't, that ain't rich. That's like rich slave. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's what that is. But, nah, I ain't, you know, but I, it's way more niggas in the NBA richer than me. Don't get it fucked up. Like, so it ain't a, it, it, really, I, it ain't nothing I can get mad at a player about, right? I can't never get mad at players or whatever who who follow the tradition of what it was to do and to become an NBA player. You a kid with dreams. Your family, your your parents led you in this direction. I'm not expecting everybody to transcend and change the rules and break you know, cycles or whatever. I'm not I'm not expecting people to do that. It's only gonna be a small few willing to put everything on the line for what's right, man. And this that's the people we study about in history though. That's the ones we study about in history though. Understand that. The the people who just follow the rules and just get in line and just follow the cycle of life and just follow that whole line, they ain't making no history. The people who make history is the people who make the rules and change the rules and and show you new ways and make you better. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not expecting everybody. I'm not mad at nobody in the NBA. I still respect everybody in the NBA. I respect every NFL player. I respect the NFL and the NBA. I have no beef with no leagues. Like, I'm not mad at the leagues itself. I just don't like what it stands for. I'm not, And I wouldn't go to them and say, I wouldn't go to them and say, I'm against this. I'll say this. I'm against going to the NBA and going to the NFL and making them make black people owners. I'm against that because I'm against somebody coming to my house telling me how to make my rules and telling me how to do my shit. You feel me? Like, I'm against that because I don't believe that you can go to somebody's house and make them, you know. So what you should do is start your own shit. It's about starting your hell. That's what it's about to me. That's how how big-headed I am. That's how big my dreams is. You feel me? 
it ain't even about changing the NBA or the NFL. It's about starting my own league and just making the rules how I want to make them. And then that be my competition. You feel me? Instead of niggas flying overseas and playing for them, they could be playing right in America in, in our league. And we got cool shit going down in our league. All the whole ass shit we've been complaining about in the NBA, we taking all that shit out. And we putting the rules cool, how we like them. You can talk shit. You know, we ain't going to let nobody fight, do no dumb shit like that. It's still going to be kid-friendly. But, you know, it's going to be fun how we like it. You know what I'm saying? Lady, um, white Rock, people. The Rock, no, the other one. What? CFL. It's no, not CFL. That's still white people no, shit. That's still they shit. AFL, some shit. It's The Rock. It's still them. He ain't really like us. I'm talking about like somebody like us, like the culture. You know I'm saying? For real. It's a whole, that, that league is growing, so shows it can be done. Yeah, for saying? sure. Yeah, it's other yeah, leagues. Team, My mama you know, said she was watching some other uh, team. You got a Houston team. Yeah. Right. Now, nigga, right. They got fans. Nigga, they got fans. Fact. My mama was watching. And then XFL. watching them because we be losing. Nigga. Exactly. Over here the losing NFL got the XFL because they see the opportunity. They see that they seeing that man. Let me do this before somebody else think of this. You feel me? All these rich ass ball players then got all this money from them people. Nobody thought about doing this shit for the kids. Like the only way we gonna and we gonna continue to be the white people bitch for another hundred years and complain about the rules that they set in their own house. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that's right either. I say let's start our own shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and start there. That's how I think. You feel me? But like I say, however you think, I'm cool, man. Have a drink with me, man. Like, I love this shit. I love not being the uh, on the same side of society, y'all, thinking like everybody else. I love this shit because it shows how unique I am as a human being and how I push it, I break shit down to the real square root of it, and, and I'm willing to do the hard work that it takes to build. I don't believe in starting on top. I don't believe in spending a bunch of money at, at the beginning. I believe in starting from the ground and growing that shit into whatever we need it to be. Yeah, real, off real life shit, though. No cap, real fans, real people, you know, like, no cap on nothing. Everything is just real. That's how shit go, man. Like, that's the best way to live life, man. That's the best way to live your life in, in real time. Like I say, if you had went to school, think about this though. Y'all, do y'all understand this? How trained y'all are? I don't believe a lot of y'all even realize how trained a lot of people is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm not trained because I never had a job in my life. I never had, never worked for nobody. Never had to not smoke weed. Can do whatever I want to do every single day. That's why I promote this shit. That's why I tell people to chase this shit. But when you go to school, they training you. They training you, hey, shut up, don't speak. You gonna go, you gonna get this pedal, you gonna get suspended, shut up, hey. You gotta, when you go to motherfucking uh, high school, they training you, you go to college, hey, you better make sure you do this shit. We ain't looking this time, but you better make sure you do this here. It's all training, only to go get trained at a job. Hey, you can't smoke weed out when you get out of work. Hey, you can't post this shit, can't show your gun, nigga. Like, all this is training. You steady getting trained your whole life. When are you going to be the sugar daddy? As a grown person, only time you get to be the sugar daddy is when you're 60, when you retire. When you retire is the only time you can be the sugar daddy. That's not life. To me, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? That ain't life. That ain't life to me. You feel me? I mean, like, and a lot of people just cool with just following the site. You just jumping at... You another motherfucking piece of toilet paper on the on the on the uh, assembly line, nigga. You just another piece of toilet paper on the assembly line doing what everybody else done to live and die and get buried and just be a regular motherfucker who followed everybody rules and ain't do shit extraordinary in your life. I ain't I ain't even lead your life. Just follow somebody else's rules. Let another motherfucker tell you how to live every single day of your life. Like what the fuck? Come on, man. That ain't it. That ain't how I'm doing mine, at least. You know what I'm saying? That ain't how I'm doing mine. Because everything we taught is fucked up. We talking we talking to people who had us as slaves. Like, you know, we can't really trust, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the guidance. We can't really trust what's being told is right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because we coming from that. No beef on you know, new white people. You ain't making your slaves. So I had no beef with white people from these days. But 
Your aunt, your grandcestors was on some bullshit, so we got to kind of, you know, you know what I'm saying? We got to kind of see, look at it for what it is, you know, say, okay, I don't know, maybe, maybe they, maybe they right, maybe they wrong. You know, you, you got to at least respect us for checking it out. We got to at least double check it, you feel me? All right, boss, man. Yeah. But let me tell you something else, though. When you're a boss and you don't work for people, you don't experience racism like a person who worked for somebody. Like, I ain't getting held back. I ain't nobody holding me down. It's just me doing me. I'm my own boss. I don't have to deal with motherfuckers uh, doing no racist shit to me. You feel me? Because I'm my own boss. I wake up and do what the fuck I want to do every day. So when I sit with white people, it's on a, le a level that I, I don't want nothing from you. I don't need nothing from you. We just friends as friends. It ain't about, you know, you over me or I'm under you. It's just like, hey, we just cool. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you, every man should meet everybody. Is, is, and that's what the problem is as a black race. We don't own shit to be able to sit at the table with nobody eye level to eye level. Uh, you better act right, man. They paid you that 200 million. You better act right. Them white people up there done paid you this 200 million. You, he, he did that. This dumb ass gonna fuck off the money? Damn, the white man gonna, gonna hang him. You feel me? Nah, that ain't it, man. Look me in my motherfucking eye when you, when you sit down at the table with me. Because I'm a king, too. I'm a king, too. I ain't looking up to no motherfucking body but God. And that's it. Straight like that. You know, and that's not a knock to people who have to have a job. You know, cool, like yeah, that's cool. But I'm, a, I'm just telling you how my thought process is, and how I move, why I move like I move, and how I move like I move, straight like that. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I believe being a king is, being able to wake up and do whatever you want to do every day. Don't quit your job if you didn't work your life and went to school and to be a successful person and you work for somebody and that's a good life for you, stay there. Ain't nothing wrong with that life either. That's your life. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, I'm not saying that's a bad life. I'm not dissing you or nothing like that. Like, you know, if you happy where you at and that's cool, like everybody don't want to be doing the most. Everybody don't want a hundred fucking calls like Slim Thug and some people want the simple shit, you know, and just that's happy. Some people want to get married and, and they, they happy with that shit. You know, some people want the simple shit. And that's cool, too. We all can work. The, we all can live in the same world. And I can respect you for wanting the simple shit and still call you what's up, boss. And look at you like a man. Just like you can look at me as whoever I am and what I do as a man. Ain't nobody above nobody to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Lil Mitchell say he want a hundred cars. Well, if you want a hundred cars, you gotta start thinking toxic like me, my nigga. Like you gotta, you gotta tap in, bro. You gotta tap in. You gotta tap in, man. That is like some people, regular people ain't talk. I'm talking about people who choose to live a, you know, a traditional life. Let's say that I'm a ghetto nigga. I say this shit wrong all the time. Well, yeah, I'm not talking down to nobody, but people who, who choose to live a traditional life of, you know, I'm cool with, you know, the lesser because I just want to be at home with my babies and my husband and, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But like I say, there's people out here who trying to change rules and trying to, you know, do the most. <laughs> I'm a part of that percent. That's who I am as a person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got to do cancellations. I don't talk down on nobody. I can't talk down on people because there's people over me who can talk down on me. You know what I'm saying? I mentioned several times, ball players be richer than me, and I'm calling them a rich slave. They richer than me, though. So they can say, Slim, shut your broke ass up. Uh, like Klaus Walker say, and hey, you shut the fuck up, too. Like, they could definitely say that to me. You know what I'm saying? This is my thought process, though. This is my personal opinion. I can have mine. They can have theirs, you can have yours, and we all should be able to sit down with a glass of wine and just share them. And just go back and forth, debate back and forth about who right or wrong, you know what I'm saying? Maybe at the end of the day, I see some uh, shit y'all say as right, y'all see some shit as I say as right. That's just how that shit go.
Straight like that. Grown people shit. You learn to do that, though. A lot of people be on, man, I can't fuck with that person. They do this. I can't fuck with that person. They do this. No, you be who you are and don't change that. I ain't saying change that, but you ain't got to agree with everybody and don't get let it get you in your feelings because somebody different to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, don't get in your feelings because somebody different than you. Like, still, you can still be cool with people who ain't, who don't think like you. You feel me? Straight like that. That what you'll learn to do. That stops, that stops all the emotional anger in the streets of today. You know what I'm saying? You mind your business. When you mind your business, because when you don't mind your business and you start being angry and, you know, and, having issues with everybody it's like a female trait it sounds like you don't love in hip hop why you care about what that dude over there doing is what I want to know like why you invested why you even talking down on that dude like why you care about him let that man do whatever he want to do if he want to crash out you can sit and watch it you can talk about it with your homies you know what I'm saying but it ain't for you to talk down on nobody it ain't for you to be mad at nobody it ain't for you to hate on nobody you know what I'm saying? It ain't for you to do none of that shit. It's just here for you to sit and watch and say, okay, that's what that is. Like, But always what you got to remember, what I want y'all to have, stick with y'all in today's Thug and News lesson. Look in the mirror, man. Take a look in the mirror, man. Y'all ain't looking in the mirror every day. Y'all get on Instagram and thank y'all, almighty Jesus Christ. No, man, look in the mirror. Y'all fucked up so much too, man. Y'all fucking up right now. Y'all fuck up every single day and got the nerve to talk down on somebody who further than you with the success. Look in the mirror, man. Your shit fucked up. You ain't got your shit together, man. You can't say nothing about nobody, man. Look your ass in that mirror, man. Your shit just as fucked up. Your life just as fucked up. You are, your shit is fucked up. So you can't you can't stand on no pedestal and talk down on nobody, man. You have to just shut the fuck up, mind your business, and say, damn, have sympathy for those who you feel sorry for, you know, and whatever. Like, if you can teach a motherfucker something, teach them it. But it ain't your business to be bringing nobody down further than they already is when, with shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Stay focused on getting your shit together is what you should do every day. That's what you should put your your whole push, your whole energy should be in, man, how can I get my shit together? How can I fix the dumb shit I did instead of worrying about some dumb shit somebody else did? You know what I'm saying? Let that drive you further. Because you got too much time on here talking about a nigga who worked $200 million. Like That shit never makes sense to you. You feel me? It should never make sense to you. Your common sense should tell you, I need to shut the fuck up, because look, I, I ain't got my shit together either. You know what I'm saying? So let me shut the fuck up and just, you know, see what happened, if nothing else. Yeah, be somebody that lift people, because outside of that, though, we don't really, let's keep it real, though, we don't really know what young men going through. Like, we don't know what's going on. We don't know if he has some type of mental issue. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what's going on with this dude. We don't know what type of shit going on outside of the NBA. But the world just automatically thinks that because he got so much money and they paid him so much money, he's invincible. He, he, uh, like nothing like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like real life is real life, man. You don't know what this man going through, man. Like, you know. Right now, even as as stupid as it might be, at 23, right, you might be throwing a fit. You out of the uh, playoffs, you know what I'm saying? You done lost eight, you know, whatever, out the games. They done took you out of the race to do the whatever. I think that's my boy truck. They done took you out the race of, uh, you know, being a max player. How many 23? Your son be doing dumb shit all the time. Your son be get, going to jail for guns. This little dumb ass 23. You know what I'm saying? Nigga 23 years old. Understand that. He gonna fuck up. He gonna do dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Your little dumbass boy done did worse. 
You know your little dumbass brother, your little dumbass son. Everybody's son does some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we out here talking about a nigga who at least figured out. He, even if he get kicked out the NBA, the nigga said for life. You know what I'm saying? Even if the nigga get, don't ever play the ball again, he still was able to use his tool to get him to never have to work for life. He already did that. 